Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. The Reapers are on the ropes now, so much so that other units have decided to try and take a crack at them. One such unit did so, and ended up getting themselves in trouble. So the Dragon's Rejects are now answering their distress call. Alright, so this is a four skull mission, an escort mission. Wow, that's a lot of blocking force. Uh, versus Clan Barak. Um, I only brought eight units. I'm hoping this is enough because they've got 15 to start, so I have no idea what they're going to have. I thought I was coming a little heavy for this one, but I, I'm guessing this opening blocking force is going to be the difficult part and then the rest will probably be relatively simple. I hope. So we've got a bunch of updated mechs here. So the two um, trebuchets are now out of the lineup. A lot of their components have been stripped down to, to update the Warhammer um, and the Avatar, which are now both in the yeah. lineup. So I did go with the triple snub nose PPC for the Avatar. The pair of these medium lasers are fixed in the center torso. I can't do anything about those. Uh, it's also got a, a pair of MRMs with incendiary ammo and acid ammo. Uh, we don't have a lot of ammo, but it's 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 enough right so um so let's just move up here we're gonna get a shot off we gotta get, start getting in the open both running. of these two mechs are slow they're four six so um not expecting a lot of them we're just gonna leave these guys off for now fire all the lasers Confirmed. i got one laser hit on him not bad and then the Warhammer, I did go with the two ER large laser and pair of MRM 20s. So that replaced the old trebuchet with the one ER large laser and the two um, MRM 20s. But of course, this thing's got a lot more armor. We've got the Lacerator here now. Unfortunately, um, um, crap, who is it? Uh, yep. My God. Oh, Skull is um, injured right now. So she can't actually pilot the lacerator, so she's just like taking the hiatus. So the great thing about the lacerator is it does it is fast, right? So we can get it into where where we need it quickly. What's this guy back here? Dasher, probably. Griffin. Alright, let's just go against the guys we can see. We don't need to rush this just yet. Let's just move into the trees though, because you are a lighter Location. lighter mech. So the lacerator basically took over the uh, role of the fire starter. Uh, it is 10, ton, 10 tons heavier. So we've got the medium X pulse, three uh, ER, uh, sorry, three clan medium pulse lasers, three tandem 20s, bolt on tandem 20, and a heavy rocket launcher 15. So basically the same loadout. Um, same speed. I believe it's the same speed. Um, just more armor. On it. Okay, structure exposed. Well, he's dead. Salvage that. Nice. Receiving you. Alright, Retriever, we got the uh, Hellbringer here now with the Ultra 5s, ER Medium, and LRM 20. So let's bring you up here. Now we've only got 45 Number rounds five. for the let's for the go. pair of these Ultras, so I don't want to waste a whole bunch. So it's only 11 turns of firing. So on something like this, I'm not even going to bother. And we've got what, uh, 10, 14 turns with the LRM, which we don't need to fire. I'm just gonna take a pot oh, shot at this guy. This? Next turn will be, it'll be relative, rel relatively easier okay. to hit these guys. Okay, I'm just wondering where their reinforcement units are. I didn't kind of maneuver around to check to see um, where I wasn't allowed to drop. I just kind of dropped roughly where they told me to drop. This guy's gotta go. That guy's got to go. Yeah, they, they wanted me to drop uh, right here on the side of this cliff, so I just kind of moved over a bit. I didn't even look around, so... Um, I wonder if these are full strength forces, and if they are, where are they? I'm kind of worried, because we're supposed to escort to here. I thought I was approaching from the rear, and that the escort was supposed to be this way. I didn't even look at the map. But it's not. It's behind us, so I, they could be behind us. I don't know. Orders. All right, Tiger. We know what Tiger Tail's up to. Ooh. Can we just move that over there? We can. Let's get into here. Coordinates received. 
I've been doing some tweaking of internal components, like head components and stuff, just to try and give people better chances to hit. Getting a little better here and there, but, I mean, it's still, you know, kind of, like, iffy. So we got incendiary and standard ammo in this thing. I got to kind of remember to use it. Just going to fire the regular stuff at this guy. I've right, got one hit. Not bad. Not bad. So I've been doing a whole lot of thinking. I've actually thought about it a lot today when I was at work. I was just doing graphics all day long. So I was just trying to think about what we could do for uh, the community uh, battle. I got a few ideas. I'm going to post a video this weekend with the ideas. Maybe put a poll up, see what people think. Uh, we've, like I said in the last episode, we've already got a couple of people interested. If more people are interested, like you don't have to have Battletech, right? I can run a I can run a group for you. That's no problem, right? Or if you just want to watch, it's fine too. But if you've got an idea for a unit, I can actually implement that. Now I can only play a certain number of them, obviously. So um, most likely, what I'll do. Ooh, we've got guys on this side. I'm going to reserve uh, the units that I do play for people who are like, you know, uh, top commanders because they're the ones that are getting involved the most. But if people have got really great ideas for units, I'm more than willing to entertain some of those too. Uh, Alright, now, um, Crusader, this guy is what? He's got a lot of armor. Alright, let's get moving. Pick up a bit of speed after this turn. We're not going to fire on this first turn. There's no point. Yeah, there's no point. We've only got a certain number of rounds. we got to make sure we use this, this thing early aye, aye. to take down these units up front. Um, let's get you into here. Roger. Yeah, see, that's not bad at all. Yeah, we got 15 turns of continuous firing with this one. It's a little better. So I don't mind shooting. Actually, we're only going to we're going to go down to one. Let's fire this. We're going to get a lot better chance to hit next turn, so Nice three of them. Target detected. Standing by. All right, Rusty. Comes to Phaestos. So we've got I can't remember what Go to here. It's a little bit further, but I do want to get some back. movement going here. I'm probably only going to go with the lasers. So we've got tandem and improved ammo on this thing. So we've got 10 turns of improved and 3 turns of tandem. Alright, just want to remember, let's just turn these off for now. Got to save our ammo. Don't hit our own guys. Good. No luck. No luck. So there was another update that came out today um, for Rotec. I haven't updated yet. I'm probably going to do that this weekend. Uh, let's go with... Can we get a direct... We can get a direct line of sight on the Crusader. Can I walk it over there and do that? I can. I'm in the trees, so it's kind of six to one, half dozen of another. We lose a little bit for being in the trees, but gain a little bit for not sprinting. Now, um... Fifty percent's not bad. We got an LRM seventy on this thing now. So once again, updated this thing a little bit. Lasers are gone. AMS Mark II still on here, but we've got an LRM seventy now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that shot. Whoops. Okay. Uh, Commander. New turn. I thought I saw there were shots coming from over on this side. Bunch of guys back here. Yeah, well, there was, right here. This guy's got to go. That's the ATM guy. This Osprey's got a Goss rifle, though, I think. Um, Crusader 63. Really, only 43 on this guy, eh? I think we take the better chance to hit. 
And I think we, because there, because of the number of guys we've got going, we're going to front load our chances to hit here. Now, for kind out loud, let's go after this guy. He's going on, what, 16? Yeah. So we should be able to delete him before he gets a chance to do anything this, this turn. That hit something good. It did. Ready for orders. Do we want to delete this Osprey? Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it. I don't have enough firepower with the tandems. Although... Let's get you to here. Confirmed. Stay with these guys for now. There's no point in going off to strike somebody. So what do we got back here? Grendel, Miss Lynx, meh. Shadow Cat. I think that thing's got a PPC. We're gonna shoot straight on this guy. Gonna leave off everything here except for the lasers. We'll work on uh, deletion stuff after this. I copy. Yeah, the big one missed. There's the knockdown. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I don't know who we're going to use for cleanup on him yet. Now I think we have to turn our attention to this guy. This guy's got the improved ATMs. I just ran a mission the other night. This one will probably air before the one I ran the other night, which was... Um, a mission with the Night Gaunts, where we faced one of these guys. I picked up a couple of improved ATMs. Um, so this one will probably air before that one, most likely. I've got a couple of episodes for this in the bank already, so I should be able to, like... I want to try and get one episode ahead. I've been kind of running where it's like I've been kind of doing it and then posting the next day, because I like getting the responses, the com hearing the comments and being able to make adjustments, but I think I'm going to try and run one ahead just in case because I, I missed the one day because of a bad recording and I was just too tired to, to edit more and stuff, so um, I'm going to try and get one episode ahead, so if I do run into a problem like that again, um, I've got something to play for the next day. Alright, now this Osprey, when does he Barely go? Hit, Commander. 19. With the ATMs. I don't know how many or is it ATMs? He's he's can't be using ATMs. He's got sixty. Two MRM thirties, probably. Well that's interesting. Who's going next? Eighteen, fifteen, we got nineteen here. Okay, Grendel. We're going to have no AMS by the time this Damage fight's over. Looks light, Commander. Like this area here. Which will be fine. I mean, they're, they're probably only going to have five guys. Then, and like once we open this up, there'll be five guys. And then once we get them out, there'll be five more. So I'm here. it's really just going to be this fight. So now do we go after the Osprey. 99%. Let's just walk it up here. I don't think we can... I, ca I can't with this percentage chance to hit go after the Osprey. We can do controlled bursts, offensive push. He's probably got MRM 30s. I just try to target his head. How much has he got in the CT? 270. Not going to be able to deliver 270. We're not even going to be able to deliver 205, I don't think. Let's see, 72, 140. Yeah, we can do, we can do 205. Which means I could take this torso too. Or do we just straight up shoot him? And go for, just go for the damage. Let's go for the guaranteed hits. Firing. Wow. I missed with the ace. I don't know how many shots of the AC missed, but we got two we got two of his torsos, so 60 damage to that one and 45 to that one, so not bad. You're gonna melee. He heard me say I was gonna unload the tandems on him, that's why. You wanna fucking play games? Is that what you want? Because we can play games. 
We can play them games too, buddy. Let's get up to here. Get our stability back. Let's give this guy some peeps. Gonna go with the incendiaries as well. Let's warlord this. Accuracy through volume of fire. It's looking a little toasty over there. Okay, we got another guy down the hill there. What the hell is it? It's another it's another one of these guys. My armor's melting off. I see that. It is. Ready for order. It freaking totally is. Okay, let's deal with this guy this one here over here first. First things first. Deal with the guy that needs to go down. Um, yes. Uh, stability or... Yeah. Copy that. So I was trying to... I was, ooh, there he, there he goes. Beautiful. I was thinking about... Um, Fist of Door mentioned making this guy a uh, close-range brawler. You. And it would be a beautiful mech for that, especially if I had SRMs, but I just don't have the SRMs, unfortunately. I wish I did. I wish I had the ability to use that, the SRMs, but I just have a handful of garbage SRMs. So once we find something good, then we'll definitely go for it. Okay. Who's up? Standing by. I want to chase this guy. I wonder what our chance to hit would be. Uh, it's kind of far. Let's try and get the kill on this guy over here. Just go this route. This should do it, probably. Yeah. Enemy mech. We've only got eight shots for the hyper velocity auto cannon, so I don't want to go and waste that. Commander. Now. Here we Moving go. Fast. You want to trade shots? We could trade shots. We could do that. Ooh, twenty. Really? That's pretty damn low. That's a lot of mag shots this thing's got. Small improved heavies. A ton of mag shots. And MRAM 30, so it's not bad. Not a bad loadout. We've got Sam, Deadfire, Incendiaries. We want to try to heat this guy. Oh, he's not even hot. I mean, we could... I mean, we could thunder this guy and then just move out of direct fire next turn. That's a possibility. Because let's face it, later on, we're not going to get a chance to really use the thunder. So, we right might as well here. use it now. And maybe get this guy. Because if we move out of his line of sight, everybody just gets out of his line of sight. This guy's going on 17. Wait, you're going on 22? Oh, this guy goes on 22 as well. Good to go. There we go. Let's, uh, let's, you, you can melee all you want. I got, I got another game I want to play with you. Let's move over here. Coordinates received. This is called the back game. And what the back game is, is I come behind you with a whole bunch of fucking missiles. Or rockets. And I tear you a new one. That's how we play this game. Actually, how much armor does this guy have in the back? 25. Holy shit. Um, I don't think we need the tandems for this. I think we can go this route, though. Give him the heavies. Target lock on it. Rest him up. Rest him up. Good. Yeah. 
He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Ready for order. All right, now do we have direct line of sight on anybody? We don't. So I'm thinking Timberwolf, or sorry, Timberwolf, Hellbringer, we're going to reserve you. Don't know when you go. You're going on 14, which means we're taking another MRM 30 shot. You're going on 17. Hopefully it's not against you. Let's reserve. I mean, I guess I could crest the hill and come into here. But then that just means if he targets this guy, then all of these guys are going to get hit by missiles, probably. Here comes the Shadow Cat. Alright. Wow, we're getting, we're getting missile love today. My armor's getting stripped off. Yeah, well, we're all getting our armor stripped off. Yes, Commander. Can we get a backstrike? Oh, we can. Moving full speed. Full speed. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. All right, who do we got a shot at now in the back? Grendel, who hasn't gone yet, and the Shadow Cat. Grendel's better chance to hit. Let's take this. And firing. Ooh. That looked like a critical hit. Yeah, he's having a bad day. He's having a bad day. I love it when that thing hits. It's so enjoyable. Nice. Nice. Yeah, if we can back up. We'll take these guys out. So, 40%. Okay, we've already taken care of one of the supporting lances. So, it was a, it was a, it was a shallow lance. Commander. Can we get a shot? We can get a shot in the Grendel if we're in the open. So, let's go ahead and take that. Grendel's already hurt. Uh, we should check this first, I think. 85. Yeah, we'll go this route. Hopefully land everything. A little better. Nah, not better. Mediocre. So they got four or five guys left. Three. So this must be a, a, a lance with two guys in it. Thanks for showing up. Makes you feel like part of the team. Aye I aye. get it. I know what that's all about. Okay, let's get out. There we go. Perfect line of sight. Confirmed. Yeah, we should be fine over here. As long as that guy down there can't see us. Um, incendiaries? Or... He's not even hot, I don't think. Go with acid. I'm taking the shot. Should have stocked up on armor. Scored a critical hit. Nice. I'm liking the three snub loadout. The fact that this thing's saying nice and cool too at the same time is awesome. I'd love to get more acid ammo for the MRMs and take out the tandem that's in the uh, the Warhammer. I'd call it the Hephaestos, but then every time I say that, I keep thinking the Helopolis. I'm here. All right, nice. Let's move. Get our stability back. Open up on this guy. Should be able to take him out. Well, we got single fire on this. Um, yeah. Attacking from position. This guy's a stick. Got past the armor. Dude's a stick. Oh, okay. You do want to duel. Nice. I'm probably out of AMS ammo now. Zero from 60. Yeah, that's MRMs for you. 34, 34. Yeah. Yeah? What can I do you for? Consider it done. I can't activate the... Uh, the thing just yet. Um, let's leave these guys off, but let's delete this guy. Yeah, I'm much happier with the dual Ultra 5 build on this thing. 
The tens were okay. The LBX tens. Um, if we can get, I don't know if we'll be able to squeeze ultra tens in here, but the the uh, the ultra fives, uh, I'm I'm much happier. Uh, orders. All right, uh, you don't need to be over there anymore. Yeah, so I I, I get this mixed up with the uh, Halopolis because they both start with H and they're both kind of Greek names. So because it was like it was funny because I was reading Fists of Dorne's um, post about the uh, the um, the faceless here turning it into a brawler mech, and I thought at first. He was talking about the um, Halopolis, and I'm like, Waiting dude, forward. we don't have that many missile hardpoints on that thing. We've only got the one missile hardpoint for the LRM, and I'm thinking, you must know that, though. Why would you be telling me to, to, to do this loadout? And then I'm like, oh, then I read it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, the Warhammer, okay. Systems recycling for another you got to make things very, very, very easy for me. Anything complicated is going to go over my head, most likely. And it's not that I don't understand complicated things. It's just that when I come home at night and I'm, and I'm playing or whatever, most of the time I miss a lot of stuff. Like, I just don't... It doesn't register because I'm just tired, right? So, and then when I read it again and I realized what Mackie was talking about, I was like, oh, yeah, that's. I was already thinking about that, but can't do that. I don't, I don't have the weapons for it. Yes, Commander. Which is it's funny because a lot, a lot of the posts all come down to that. It's like, I'd love to be able to do that. I don't have the weapons. Or I don't have the gear. Right? It's just, it's too bad to... We're getting there though. I mean, we're getting pretty close. We've got a lot of... Oh, yeah. uh, we've got a lot of good gear now. And a, a lot of um, half-decent mechs. So... But the mission I was actually going to play today... Um, I didn't want to do it because it was a four and a half skull assassinate against the clans and I was like Ooh, that's gonna be 2025 mechs and I'm like, I, I don't know if we can handle it with this group. I wanted to run the um, The avatar and the face those just to see what our chances to hit at, at range were and I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. Yes, come in. It would be a nice fight, but I don't think it's um, I don't think we're ready for that uh, Let's just get over here I think we can target that Grendel successfully. Where is it? There you are. 13%, huh? Oof. Maybe not. 20% in this guy? Sure. I'll make them dead. A little better, a little better for a hand aye, aye. full of damage. Um, get you up here. Get some evasion going. Yeah, I think this mech is is, is a nice replacement for the uh, for the fire starter, for the OG fire starter. Oh, what's up, boss? Just set up in case they come over the hill. Location confirmed. C three network protected. Yeah, it's still difficult finding the um, the right level of mission. Mix and match. I'm getting better at it with the... Uh, just move over here. Brace. Uh, I'm getting better at it with the night gaunts because I can run the six mechs and do fairly well with them. Um, at like three, four skulls against the clans, it's kind of roughly evenly matched. So now I've kind of got a balance with them. With these guys, I'm still I'm kind of struggling here a little bit. We're getting close though. Getting close to being able to figure out the matchup here. All right, let's um go for the better chance to hit. Just going to leave these off. Ah, fuck it. We got lots of well, we don't have lots of ammo. I got five more turns or four more turns of firing with these. So let's just leave them off for now. Roger. I know I, I I've got inferno ammo, but it's not going to really do anything to these guys. There's no real point. A critical hit. Save it for the guys we want to make sure we overheat. Right here. All right. Now, let's give you... We need distance. Not enough. There we go. That's not a bad chance. Let's get over I'll here. Try. Not getting much evasion out of this, but these guys don't have many turns left. 
Yeah, we'll just go after this guy. Seven rounds. Um, how much armor do you have in the back? You got a fair bit of armor. I'm gonna leave these off. These are generally our best chance to hit, and if you're gonna be effective later on, we're gonna need some ammo, so. Engaging. Ah, crap. All right. That's all right. That's all right, we'll deal with it. All right, uh, you. Good to go. Got it. A little bit of thunder. Give him a little bit of thunder in his life. Okay, we only got 30 rounds left now. Orders. All right, buddy, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's get it activated. Get going here. 9%, 13, 17. Well, you're indirect garbage, but... This guy know he's we know he's there. Yeah, it was interesting because I pulled the fire control system predator off of the uh um one of the trebuchets and like, oh I'll just drop it in one of our my, one of my mechs and I'm like searching around trying to find what mech to put it in. I'm like, we've I've got all good fire control systems and everything. I don't need it in any mech. So I ended up putting it in the longbow. I took out the indirect and put that one in. Waiting for orders. That's uh, probably a deletion. Ooh, that's a back shot. Can't say no to that shot. We are honored. He's gonna give it to me. Inflicted some heavy damage. He's gonna give it to me. I'm gonna give it to him. I I don't know. But you like Ah, oh, crap. I can't turn your back to these guys. Just go right there, I guess. Understood. Once we pop this, they're going to get more guys, so... i got to figure out where they're going to be coming from. They could come at our back, I don't know. So these, um... are supposed to be, like, um... artillery vehicles. Which means they can die real easy. So I gotta have to be careful. That's why I was kind of hoping we could kill all these guys first, but... Yeah. Eh, you know me. I have no patience. I have zero patience. Alright, let's get... Around to here. You got the speed, so you can come back. You won't, you're not really that far out of position if you engage these guys from around that corner. Everybody else is slow Standing enough. By. All right, bud. Roger that. Let's see how badly this guy's back is damaged here. Yeah, so that's a quad missile pod strike. We'll just take this guy out. Target locked. An enemy clear. Save it for the kill shot. Target fight. Yeah, we've only got four shots with those, so I'm just trying to use them when the, the enemy is open. Once their torsos are, and stuff are open, then we can go ahead and use them. All right, let's get you to here. Coordinates received. And then Sarge. We want to help get you to help finish up these guys over here. On Maybe we can way. take on that Grendel. I don't think the, is the Grendel have anything worthwhile? The medium pulse and ER small. Had two LRM-15s. This guy's just got an AMS left, eh? Well, one of the medium lasers hit. I got a lot of advanced zooms, which are okay, but I really want the advanced optic systems, which also give you the night vision and the, uh... Alright, we got oh, we got a 30 left. It gives you the night vision and it also gives you the um um what's it called? Ah, brain dying. It. Not even that late at night. Um so it gives you the zoom, the night the vision, way. and the heat vision. That was what it was. Our thermal. Okay, there they are. Hello. 
now. Oh, they're right here. Right on us. So that's actually not that bad. They're right in our way. So we got a war... Oh, Jesus, a Warhawk, eh? Is that like 75 or 80 tons? Or is that the... Um, is that the... That's the Dashi, right? It is. That's the 100 tonner, isn't it? There's two of them. Because of course there is. Or they're 90 tons, I don't know. Cascatel, of course. Seth Stealth Bomber. Well, that's not good. Another Cascatel. Okay, that's an interesting lance. Um, What's up, Commander? We need to ignore all these other guys now. And get right the fuck on these guys. Because hey, these vehicles are going to die hard. <laughs> die hard, get it? <laughs> uh, searchlight affected, beautiful. We've got a built-in searchlight in this thing, so it helps a little bit. Get a better shot in that guy, but we're going to go in this guy so we don't hit our own guys over here. And I think we need to go Warlord. He's going to shoot down a lot of these missiles most likely, but at least once that this guy is burning through all his uh, AMS, once we get the uh, longbow turned to him, hopefully we can uh, deal with that. I'm glad I saved the tandems now. I'm glad I saved those tandems. We're still going to have one more lance after this too. Wait. Um, blocking force support lance and then the new one. Okay, the reinforcements. Okay, right, 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 right. Standing by. Right, right, I get it now. Um. Jeez. No shooting, just running. A little more out of position than I was hoping, but whatever. That's fine. You caught up already, so. I think we go for a tandem strike on this guy. We've already done some internal damage. I think this amount of rockets should easily get. Oh, maybe I should go. No. Everything. I was going to say, maybe I should only go at 40, but I think we got to use it. Position. Guarantee the kill. The stealth bomber is a nasty piece of work, so. Come on. Nope. Not enough. Short range missiles are out. They spread, too. Well, we got tandems in the Warhammer. Where are you? Right there. Warhawk's going first, eh? Alright, well, at least you've only got like an LM10 yeah, or something. Try. Don't taunt him. I'm here. That's how we all die. Did you get that? Acknowledged. So these guys have already gone. I guess they don't do anything on their first turn. Which is good news for us. Bad news for them. Let's get some acid on this guy to increase the damage from everybody else. Yeah, bomb racks. Quad bomb racks. LRM-20s. Yeah, this guy's gotta go. Confirmed. Alright, well we got, what? Four Stop acid on there? The armor. Shot seven down. I uh, took almost all of his armor too. He's done for. He's using the AMS as a machine gun. Good for you, buddy. That's cool. Oh yeah, so um, the new upgrade I'm going to do this weekend for Rogue Tech. And it is... Um, Giving the pilots, um, the enemy pilots, uh, more AI. So they're not going to ridiculously overheat themselves, you know. Uh, brawlers are going to brawl, things like that, right? So uh, it should be a good, it should be a really good update. I want to just shoot this guy. No, this is, this guy's tandem worthy, I think, from the Hephaestos. So let's go after, uh, this guy's going to die... Let's start softening up this second Cascatel. Uh, controlled bursts up. Four shots. Good thing I remembered to do that. Come on. Not the Seth. Not you. You. 99%. Here it comes. Beautiful. Everything hit. And that's how it should be. 
No, he's already into inter internal structure now, this guy. I saw the two, th the orange 37s. Well, yeah, he just took a rest. He's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna wander around down there until he loses his order. legs, probably. Okay, you got the tandems. Might as well use them. It's nice having this because if we got bad vehicles like this guy, let's increase our chance to hit. We can take them down pretty quickly. There we go. Vehicle down. Okay, and then Commander? You Din -din 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 Yo, dude, what is up? What do you think, buddy? Do you think you got the right stuff? I'll show you what the right stuff looks like. Here it comes. Roger that. Ah, uh, we don't get to watch it. That sucks. That's the right stuff. Enemy vehicle down. You got that right. Okay, we got the archer, or the sorry, rifleman left to take down the other Cascatel. I'll leave um, the Nidhogg to handle these guys. These guys don't have much, so it should be no problem. Yeah, it's going to be a battle between these guys. That's actually sufficient damage. Sorry, Light significant speed. damage. I knew it started with an S. Yes, Commander. I'm there. Do 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 do. Yeah. Do 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 do. Oh, you better not miss with all these shots. I hear ya. That would be a bad time. Wow. Don't hit the friggin' longbow. That's a lot of LBX twos. Let's go with Cluster, just in case. In <laughs> case we're gonna hit that longbow. Nope. They all hit him. You like that? Wow, okay. Go. Another one. Spread out, man, spread out! You betcha. Brace. Ready for orders. Alright, well, you know what? You got one more turn to help out. Might as well. Uh, we'll hold off on the warlord. I copy. Nice. Good damage. There he goes. One less machine gun on the board. Um. What can I do for you? Wow! Look at all these medium lasers. So these are just carriers, I guess. Oh, you got thunder. Damn, son. That's going to help out a little bit. Oh, do we want to use it against... How much do you have? No, we, we can't use it up ahead. I was going to say, do we want to use it against these guys? But then I got to roll through it to get these mechs out. So let's just drop it on this guy. Taking that minefield up by like 60. Not a bad cluster. Okay, I take it back. It's spreading pretty bad. Whatever. All right. Um... Warhawk's going on at least 20. Yeah? What can I do you for? So let's not crest that hill until we can do it all together. Moving to position. If we crest that hill early, we're dead. So they're both H versions, right? That guy's the H. Well, that guy's the C. Not like it actually means anything to me. I'm just pretending like I, like I know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, it's the C version and the H version? Oh yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, we gotta watch out for uh, those guys. <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, I'm Fuck me. Commander. Minor damage, Commander. We need to get you more AMS ammo. You have a double load in there, but it doesn't seem to help. All right, we need to get you up. Because you're gonna be working on legs. Those guys can't move very fast, and we've got good good uh, pilots and good targeting systems so once we crest that hill it's going to be leg shots galore 
And hopefully this, this guy down here is dead by then. Who's up? Aye, aye. We the sergeant. Okay, let's get to here. I think we'll switch. I'm going to switch it to Inferno right now. Or Incendiary. Um, I don't want to apply Acid because then if we hit the wrong locations, it's going to do super amounts of damage to the areas that we don't want. Acid is great if you're ready to bl obliterate your enemy. Just hammer him with the acid as first, like as fast as you can. Oof. And then just apply damage. But uh, What's up, boss? if you want to, like, ooh, if we want to, where was that? There it is. Might as well take a I shot at him. You. Saving my warlord. Not going to waste it on this Last guy. Alright, one hit. Not bad. Not bad. I'm here. Okay, keep moving up. Position confirmed. Standing by. Yeah, the MRAM 20's Position jammed confirmed. already. Not anymore. Beautiful. I can't remember, but I think the tandem actually increases the chance of jam, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's go all out on this guy. Ooh, 33, huh? Ah, oh, his back is severely damaged, though, so we should be able to kill him. There we go. Nice. What is that, three kills for her now? This mission? Three, four, or something like that? Okay, these are moves and braces. In case they decide to fire some... What is it? The LRM 15 or whatever he's got, or 10? Waiting for orders. Uh huh. And then you. Waiting on you, Commander. Wow, so slow. Sprint. Go to here. Affirmative. So this is thunder augmented, so it does more damage than regular. Oh, sorry, it triggers more than regular thunder. I know it gives us a really high chance to hit down here, but the hits are usually leg hits for the most part, so Want some more? Huh? when this guy starts to move, though, well, we'll see. If he moves, I don't know if he will or not. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. Alright, do we have EMP? I can't remember. I don't think we do. Dead fire, incendiary, chaff. Let's go back to that, turn these two off. And it's this guy with the missile launcher, I believe. So let's hit him with some chaff. Tell me what to shoot. I think it gives him a minus one to hit or so or whatever, you know what I mean, like it impairs him by one. He's probably only got one ton of ammo too, so he's only going to get eight turns of firing. Oh shit, is he going to get a shot at us? Oh, he's not. He's shooting the carrier though. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see. We are almost. I think uh, we're almost there to hit crest that hill. One more turn. Waiting for orders. One more turn, and we're going to crest. Piece of cake. Might as well just lob some missiles. It says AMS protected, but we don't have any ammo. I ain't nothing. Okay. That's just... The fact that there's two of these guys here... How much damage did this guy take? He's trying to come up the hill now. I can't tell. Who's up? That's probably the reason why Taskmaster's up. Let's get over to here. That should give us enough speed to crest. And then Receiving Rusty. You. I'm worried that guy's going to be able to see us in a second. Let's get to here. That should give us enough to be able to crest too. And we'll hold on to... 
you for a moment. Because those vehicles need somebody around them to be able to move. Right here. Alright, let's get over here. Accelerating to location. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's up? I hear ya. Major pain. Don't need to tell me twice. Alright, we're getting the sound glitch. I apologize for this, guys. Aye, aye. It just happens on the jungle maps for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Let's move. Hope it doesn't continue. Standing by. Yeah, it's like a it's it's like it's applying some kind of weird filter or something. And then it just it's like clipping the files or something. Okay, let's go with Good to go. you first. Because you're at the back of the pack. You're there. Moving fast. So this should be our last shot with Thunder. No, we got two more. Alright, well. This guy is not getting up here. Ten no six. way. I'm kind of wary of taking Staying assault mechs at this point in the game, too. Like, I want to stick with the heavies for a while. This is the, what I mean. Like I, I've talked about this in the past, where what can I do for you? like I love playing uh, BattleTech, but there comes a point where you begin to accelerate quicker and quicker through the heavies and into the assaults, really, really fast. Um, and I, I'm not really a big fan of that. Like, listen to that sound. I'm not really a big fan of that. I like kind of like the gradual increments, right? So right now we're in the like lower heavies to, I guess, pretty much all heavies now. We've got a couple of, uh, we got the Assault Longbow Assault and 155 Tonner, but we're into the heavy range right now, and I want to kind of stay there for a little bit. Good. All right, now, um, let's drop Chaff on this guy. Affirmative. So he's got two ERPPCs, and that's it? What else did I see on him? Was it ER Larges, or was it... I should have paid more attention. Okay, he's giving us his side. Beautiful. Uh, 23. So he, the other guy goes on 21. We're going to reserve past him. Waiting for the shot. There goes one leg. Okay. Second Warhawk's going. Alright. He's giving us his side too, pretty much. So now I need to decide who we're doing first. So... Four energy. So he's got large heavy late. What happened to the large improved? Did they disappear? Because I haven't seen those in like forever. Two large pulses, which are relatively accurate. Large heavies, minus one to hit. LRM 10. And this guy's got two PPCs. 1344, 1388. This guy's got a little more armor. All right, well, let's do this. Standing by. No point FTDing. Let's go after the guy down the ground first. Or the this guy down here. Oh, he's in the trees too, though. Let's reduce damage, but F it. Let's start it up. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Yeah, sorry about the sound, guys. I haven't had this happen on a jungle map in a while. I think it's probably like the length of time. The longer you play, the, the greater chance it has of actually doing that. But then again, I've played matches where it's like, it happens right away. So on this guy, the same thing. Leg shots. Uh, I'm going to go with the MRMs as well. They're not too dangerous so that if, like, if I miss, it's not like going to blow his arm off or anything. It's just going to apply a little bit of damage. How are we doing here? Pretty darn good. Down to 35. So he's got two large pulses as well. Okay. Oh, my turn still. Aye, aye. I was like waiting for an enemy to move. I'm like, okay, who's moving? What? Acknowledged. 
He did what in his cup? All right, Warlord, confirm. Offensive push. Once this guy goes down, we're switching targets. Uh, leaving these off for now and firing. Beautiful. Is that enough? Scored a critical hit. Nope, it was not, really. But this will be. Confirm. This will be enough. And you can you he can withstand a, a barrage from this guy, but not really from this guy. So Warlord, confirm. Offensive push, this guy. Medium pulse comes off. Going after this leg. Wanna make sure we get it. Here we go. So he's down for this turn, and we'll go everyone will go before him next turn. So we can switch targets now. No point in staying on him. Who's up? Um, Receiving you. Okay, how far can you sprint over here? You're not going to be able to get a side shot, are you? No. So let's just walk it then. No point in uh, adding additional chance to hit on this guy. Not bad at all. Confirm. Offensive push. Let's try this leg. Of course. Uh, at least one of the mediums hit. Or one of the smalls, I mean. Right here. Can you get a side shot? You can. Beautiful. Get over here. That guy might be able to get around and hit me. No, I don't think so. If he moves, he's going to lose his leg anyway, so I think we're okay. Offensive push. Now, my question is... Ooh, that's terrible. Go with everything. All right. I'll give him the whole nine guys. All right, a little bit of tandem hit the leg. That's nice. Short range. Yeah, it's the rest of your... rest of your built-in tandem. Yeah, a little bit. Now the question is, is do we use the vehicles? You're not going to fire. Not through our guys like that. A 33% chance to hit. Do we use the vehicles and try and take his leg? Like, we could go with all... I don't know what their chances to hit is going to be, though. What else do we have over here? E extended range and Artemis. Artemis isn't good in indirect mode, so we'll go with this. Ah, God. Let's just plank this guy. He's got some instability already. Maybe we can Fire land a little more on him. Well, that's not bad. Okay, maybe not. Aye. Like, we could... 69. If he gets a shot in these guys, though, they're pretty much dead. 110 armor. Maybe not. And we might be going before this guy next turn. Let's just stay on the close to the road here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go for it. That's not waste to resolve though. Do we just go for instability? Ah crap. I don't I don't feel good about this. We got lots of resolve. We got lots of resolve. Let's go for the legs. Cluster it. Okay, same thing. Way. Look at these, like laser, laser, uh, laser vomit uh, tubes here. Leg shots. All right, we got one on the leg anyway. All right, major pain. Same thing. Leg shots, please. Let's hope he doesn't go before us next turn. Structure exposed. Is that the torso? It's the torso. 
Who's up? Commander? Do this. Give him somebody to shoot for. And we'll just drop some chaff on him. Just a little bit. Don't want to set him off. Give him that blinding flare and the chaff crowd. Cloud. Sensor scrambles. Wait, are we in the new turn now? We are. 22. Beautiful. Okay, so. It's hard to tell because the sound's so messed up. Crap, we can't get a side shot. Um. Everybody's going before him. Let's get up here. He'll get knocked down. So let's use you to go after this guy's other leg here. Damn it. Well, we got some speed now. There's the side shot. This sounds so messed up. 76. This is a bad idea. But you know me. Well, it's instability. We did knock we knock his ass over? Nope. Well, at least we hit. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, that's a little much for this guy. Let's try and go after this leg here. Come on, bail out, buddy. Bail out. I don't know. Do I forego the peeps? The PPCs and just use the medium lasers on this guy's leg? He's still going to get up this turn though. Let's try for this leg. We have to throw the incendiaries on. We might get lucky and land a couple shots on the other one. Fuck. There's a knockdown at least. Took his whole side. It's hard to tell what's going on now because I have no sound. It's surprising how much the sound like is a cue to, for me to know what's happening. Okay, we're working on this guy still, so let's go after his leg. Okay, two hits in the leg. We still got one more lance after this too. It's gonna the sound's gonna be terrible. Um Start moving forward. I'm there. Go up to this leg, see what we get. Just gonna do it. Do we get the other leg? I didn't see it. Nope. It's critical though. Ooh, we did a little. <laughs> wow, we did a lot of damage to that leg. Nice. Okay, who's up? Who's up? Major pain. Full sprint, please. Get up here. We're all in or we're all out. Cluster rounds. 54. Just fire three. Just pepper them a little bit. Okay, now what do we do? Um, you down here. This guy's going on 11. Uh, how much has he got left in his leg? 19? Let's hope we get it. 
Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Really? Dude. People were loving you. They were throwing roses at your feet. Now they're, now they're throwing eggs. You're getting egged by everybody. Alright, well, we're a little close with the LBXs, but... Well, these are medium lasers. So, let's go after... 36 and 11. Let's do this. With this. That should do the one. Okay, right leg hit. He's still panic level critical. Full speed sounds good. Too far away from the convoy. There we go. Yeah, it's interesting how the convoys all got to stay together. You can't, like, take one vehicle and run it out somewhere and do a bunch of stuff with it. If you get a good vehicle, they all got to kind of stay together. Okay, you... I should do it. Nope. God damn it! <laughs> They're hanging in there! I'm trying not to just wreck these guys, but I may have to. We got the two LRM boats left. We should shoot you first. Did we get the leg shot? Didn't get any leg shots on this guy. If the cluster doesn't hit. Like if we miss the cluster on this and it goes somewhere else, we're not going to get the leg. There we go. Okay, we got the leg. Beautiful. Ice house coming through in the clutch. All right, Major. Whew. Don't blow this guy up. How much armor do you have? I should have probably checked that. 112. So not bad. I don't think this guy's got enough juice to kill you. 36, huh? Do I use you? Oh, maybe he does have enough juice. That's a that's 80 damage right there. And 17, 34, 51. So if he hits all in the same location. Bail out, bail out, bail out. Yes! Now you just get up, walk for a bit, lose your leg. And we can finish this match up and go home. Oh, you can see him. Okay, fair enough. Too bad you can't hit where the shit. We'll sell the hell. We'll send the hellbringer to see if we can take his leg off. Cause yeah, I think we're gonna take the archer parts. The warhawk is really well. Maybe I don't know. The warhawk is really nice, but like I said, I want to try and. Uh... Okay, what leg does he have left and which way is he facing? So he's facing against the wall. I have no idea what leg he's got left. Alright buddy, let's just turn here. Ah, fuck. Really? Don't do it. Don't do it. When in doubt, don't shoot. Not if we want parts. Get you over there. Maybe we can surgically take his leg off. It's too bad when you're behind them you can't actually uh, target the legs. It's a little weird, but whatever. I kind of get it. I kind of get it, and I kind of don't get it. Alright, we need to get some heavies down here. Because they're going to get one turn. Once all our guys go out, they're going to get a turn on us. And I have no idea where they're going to show up. So, as long as we have all the heavies in one location, we should just be able to smash whatever shows up. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right. Uh, you can sit here so the vehicles have somebody to lock onto this, at this range. Who's up? Okay, I'm just going to run through this, guys. Until we get to the turn for, for the archer. Too far, huh? Still too far? Really? And then uh, I'll come back in a second once we're ready to go out here. Alright, so we're ready to go out here. 
I'm going to make this a little interesting because the last carry or the LRM carry at the back won't be able to make it out this turn. So we're going to move these guys out at the end of this turn. So there's a laser carrier. Try and angle them in a way so that when the enemy comes in we can at least shoot all the right on top of us. Damn it! Hold this position. <sighs> Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Demon. Zephyr. Kit Fox. Okay. Can we target anybody? Nope. Alright, well, uh, at least it's the end of the turn. Hopefully those guys aren't super fast. Let's find out. Face the enemy. Maybe we get lucky. Face the enemy. I don't think that carrier is going to be able to make it out. It's just so slow. They're going to come right over that hill and smash these guys. Nope. Doesn't have a chance. Alright, well. At least we can shoot. Uh, whichever one's got the best chance to hit. Seven, 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 seven. Five. He's got a lot of LRMs, though. What do you got? Goss rifle, two medium lasers, and an SRM-6. Okay, Zephyr is still a threat. ATM-12, large pulse, and medium pulses. And ERPPC, LBX-10. Well, you're probably the threat. Yeah, it sounds pretty much gone now, right? Unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, who's up? I just kind of moved myself into a position here, too, where I can, like, overwatch everything. All right, well, uh, we, at least we got a shot at this guy. 35%. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to warlord this because we're going to get a better chance to hit next turn, but let's land as many missiles as we can. I used the rest of my... Um, chaff on the archer down there hoping to get lucky and get a hit on him but we never did unfortunately so hopefully this guy will target the longbow I doubt it but you never know yeah I haven't gone after this guy down here yet too bad the leopard can't actually do some fire support because that would be nice all right, let's see what we can do here. When do they go? 21 is the nearest, and that's the Kit Fox. So... All right, well, we've done some damage to the Kingfisher. Let's keep going on him. Let's get around to here. Warlord, this guy's just standing here. Wow. All right. That's fine. Meh. Okay, who else is up? Alright, TT. Same thing. Let's move into here. Stay in the trees. Go after this guy. Lousy chance to hit, but whatever. Alright, we got one on him. Not bad. Yeah, this game is like really unexciting without the sound. <laughs> I can't believe we lost the sound like that. It just kind of cacked. Okay, so we got this guy going on 21, I think. Yep, okay. That's good, though. He doesn't shoot my vehicles. At least we don't have to put up with the chopper sounds. That's the one good thing, I guess. He's going to have fire and maneuver, so he's going to go somewhere. I right, have a little bit of sound back. Okay, going over to the trees. Just doing that because... Uh, sniper, sniper up here is going to go after this guy. Got 
got a couple hits on him. Tags on at least. I'm going to kill that archer. I just haven't gone for it because its its stealth has been uh, impairing me, like my ability to determine which leg is damaged, and I don't want to crest the hill unless I know which I'm what leg I'm firing on. Because otherwise, it just gives him a free shot. I don't want to give him a free shot. No, I think we're going after going after this guy. The kingfisher, once he moves, he'll have. He'll lose his immunity. He goes on 16 though, so I don't know. He's got a lot of stability too. There's no way we're knocking him down. So that's the guy at the back. Ah, shit. Okay. Alright, alright. We're alright. He's going indirect. We're okay. Okay, Rusty, let's get to there. Get those MRMs going too, I think. 35. 42. No, I think we keep on this guy. Get a Warlord or two. We're burning through all our Warlords here, I know, but as long as we can keep this guy, like, we may be able to chase him back. If he comes over the hill with the LBX-10, the PPC and everything, he's going to do a lot of damage. Hopefully if we put enough, enough fire on him, keep him suppressed, he might not He might not do that. We're going to get the Nidhogg probably on the back. Uh, well, we won't be able to do it this turn. But the back Kingfisher, I think we're going to go after his back. All right, Sarge. Get those snubs working. Got some sensor scramble on the guy in the front here. This guy right here. Warlord's up. Let's go like this. Switch into acid. And firing. I wonder if I should change the acid over to the... Um, now, nah, because it would burn through it too fast. I was thinking about changing it over to the Warhammer. But it'll burn through the acid way too fast if I do that. Okay... 81% chance on this guy. Let's just pull it over here. 33. I think we take the better... Oh, 76 now. We take the better chance fire at this guy. Nice hit. That stripped the armor away, I think. Almost did. Good damage, though. Yep, he's backing up. Nice. Nice. Able to put some... Oh, shit. He penned the armor. We gotta get the hell out of there. We didn't move enough. That was the problem. We may very well... Uh, we may very well lose that. Okay, you can fire, though. I'm firing cluster because I'm hoping for a head hit, but... I don't think we'll get it. These guys can't move anyway, so. Okay, we might as well get them all firing on this guy. Okay, not bad. You stay there, and then we've got you. Just to cross that line. Might as well give it to him. Do we have anything special that we can give him? We've got a little bit of thunder left. Yeah, let's just fire. If I have to go over there and maneuver around, I don't want the thunder to be there. Okay, who's up still? Ice House. Oof. This guy hasn't gone yet, eh? Or has he? How much armor do you have? Can we strip that? 3 times 7 is 210. If we hit with everything, we could, but that's not going to happen, I don't think. That's the Kit Fox. That's some good damage. I think we're going to take that. Let's let's go LRM versus LRM. Let's nullify this guy if we can early. 
Yeah, he's at least yeah, he's gone. Beautiful. Excellent. There they go. We saved your ass. Oh, wait, did we get payment? Did did we not get paid? We were, we weren't uh, they were supposed to pay us before they left. Oh well. We'll catch them at the end of the well, once this campaign's over, we'll catch them back in the uh, in the city of Shendi and we'll get our money off them. Cuz you know they don't pay. They're 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 in trouble, so we got to get some movement going on this guy. And I think we're going to go after this guy firing. Beautiful. Good damage. Let's not give our friendly neighborhood archer down there a shot at us. Let's get over here. And apply damage liberally. Alright. Who's up? Taskmaster. Let's do some fire suppression of the guy at the back. Beautiful, everything hit. Yeah, this mech at long range is just devastating. Uh, can we get... Can't. It's hoping for a better side shot on that Kingfisher, but we're not going to get it. So we're just going to move into here and shoot him. We used acid before, we used acid again on this guy. Alright, beautiful. There's a knockdown. Have a seat, buddy. Pilot injured. What's he down to? Two or three. Okay. We're in cleanup mode at this point. Oh, it's the enemy turn. I'm like searching for my pilots. I'm like, who's going? Oh, it's the King Fisher. Oh, the Zephyr. The Zephyr. We gotta get that Nidhogg out of there. We get five pieces of salvage out of this, so it's going to be interesting to see... Oh, fuck off. It's going to be interesting to see what drops. I mean, the archer would be nice. We got so many mechs to put together, though, so it's like... Do I really care? Damn it. Hope we don't lose that. We're down to one vehicle after this. We got the Hetzer LRM and that's it. I get too cocky with it. I overextend it too much. I, and I shouldn't be doing that, but I, I just... I gotta get out of that mindset. We go for the kill in the vehicle. Vehicle, this one this guy hasn't gone yet. So let's see if we can get a kill on him. Might be able to hit the back, too. If we get lucky. Nope. Smudged him. That's fine. He's gone. That vehicle is gone. Okay, let's go up to the other vehicle. I mean, I guess we could try and, uh... Let's go up to this guy's leg. Oh, we got his incendiary left, eh? It's fine. 35 heat, that's not bad. That's not bad. I might as well give it to him then. I don't know if that's going to be enough though. If everything lands on the side, maybe. Nope, I don't think it did though. You spread that damage pretty nicely, I think. So the Kingfisher, what's the weight on this thing? Is it like a 65? I can't, it has to be more than 65. Like 85 or something? I guess we'll find out. Well, it's got 1200 something. Maybe it's like 900. Or uh, 900. Maybe it's like a 90 tonner or something. I have no idea. Alright, let's apply some damage to this guy.
beautiful. Too bad we don't got the sound to back that up. Okay. Let's get you into here. So this is a new turn. We're on 24. I'm going to do this. Offensive push. This. 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 There's the leg. And the mech. Yeah, I should have... I did that too quickly. I, I didn't realize you had only 19 left. I thought it was like still a whole bunch. That's my bad. That's my bad. Look at this. Still 96% chance to hit from this range. See ya. One guy left. Sorry, two left. I keep forgetting about that guy that's standing in the water back there. <laughs> He's really a non... A non-concern at this point, but... Oh, we already hit this guy in the head once. That's nice. There we go. Pilot lethal damage. Beautiful. See ya. Alright, Sarge. Um, start working this way. I think we just, like, nuke this guy with the uh, longbow. Let's get this match over with. Yeah, I, I don't even know what he's got left. Let's heat him up, though. Because fuck him. Here it comes. Maybe he'll bail out. No, he's still going. His thing is, is he's not moving anywhere, right? So it's like... He's not uh, taking any damage like to his legs and stuff. He's just decided to hunker down now. Which is a smart play. I mean, once you've lost one leg, you're standing in a minefield that you don't move, right? Okay, who's going to get this guy? He's facing us now, so... We should be able to choose the leg that's... Okay, Warlord. I don't even care what the chance to hit is. Come on. Five points left. Do I do this? Because the cluster hit there will... Ah, fuck it. Just do it this way. There we go. There it is, folks. There's the end of that long-ass mission. Half of it with no sound, unfortunately. Alright, let's see what we get out of this. We made some coin off this. As long as we didn't lose the, uh... Nidhogg. There's no way to know here, I guess, if we lose it, eh? She got three kills. No way to know there. The weird thing is, is the kills didn't even come from the uh, the uh, HVAC. They came from the um, quad missile pods. Barely took any damage this match. That was pretty nice. The kills are evenly spread too, which is I really enjoy that when all of our mech warriors are actually performing kills. It makes you feel like the team's working together, you know. All right, so got three parts of the archer, two different versions of the archer. Battle Crow. She's a 70 ton baby. Six laser, five ballistic, five missile. So this is a full Omni. We do have a missile platform already though, so... Two Cascatel pieces. Unfortunately it's only two. It's enough for a Kingfisher. So it was 90 tons. That's interesting. The Warhawk is 100, right? Why not? Oh, it's 85. Okay. It just looks like the Dasha, you know? It looks like the 100-tonner. Uh, the, uh, so that's 85. Uh, 
created by the smoke jaguar so i wonder if i should take that because you know i don't feel too bad about an 85 tonner i mean it's kind of the lower end of self i mean we we'll, we won't be using it like right away at all but we'd have it this is the one the c was the one with the two ppcs and the two larges large pulses so I think we go with the C over the H. MS Clan, Flares, ATM-12. That's a possibility. ERPPCs. We've still got a bunch of these, I think. Two of them. Chem lasers, large pulse lasers, light tag. Those are all if we get them. Medium heavy lasers. Mag shots. We need ammo for. Medium ER pulse. These things are nice. Like for two tons, range 500 meters. It's 23 heat though, so. What else? Uh, regular medium lasers, no thank you. I'm actually shocked that we, oh, MRM 30s. Yeah, a little much, I think. Okay, so yeah, if we were gonna go an SRM build, I would wanna go with clan SRMs. Um. I know these ones do more damage, but I can fit more of them on the mech this way. Because this is half the weight, right? So I can put way more tubes on. And while they're doing less damage per missile, we're getting more missiles. So it, overall, we do more damage. Ah, a lot of battle computer stuff. Battle computer heat, that's really nice. Cockpits. Cockpit interface. Headshot immune. Four tons, though. You know, in all the matches I've played, there's only been that one random headshot that we've gotten. That was when, when Raider went down. Could go for Seville's enhanced imaging. That's a good possibility. Let's fire and maneuver. Can I drop that in? Can't use it all the time. Like, you turn it on and off, but still. Regular heat sinks. Double heat... Do we have... We got clan double heat sinks, no problem. Clan double heat sink kits. We've got one, so we're okay there. Lower arms, not really. Radical compact heat sink kit. Yeah, we don't have any compact heat sinks though, so it's kind of useless. Tracker sensors. Hopefully, we get these. I'm not going to take them, but I hope we do. Stealth armor. Supercharger. AMS, I'm tempted to take this. <laughs> I hate to say that. I just hate to say that I'm tempted to take AMS ammo. But I'm so... T oh, wait. Goss ammo. Do we have any? We don't. We wanted to put a Goss build together. I'm going to throw that in. Because I it's been impossible to find Goss ammo. And I think we go that route. Out of all the stuff that we could have taken. Oh, that guy was... Those guys were running Apollo ammo. That's not actually a bad build, using an Artemis system with Apollo ammo and the MRM launchers. You're still getting plus two to hit. You're getting the same as the improved. So it really isn't that big a deal. Although it does say it gives giving plus three chance to cluster on hit location with the ammo, so... Maybe it does... Maybe the Artemis does affect it? I don't know. Maybe if it's... Maybe it only affects it if you're using Apollo ammo. Because this doesn't say the ammo is less, has a less chance of being shot down. Is there any more MRM here to see? No, there isn't. Thunder augmented. Oh, man. So much good stuff. Okay, well. I think this is good. This will be great for the um, Stormcrow. So it can get into firing position, shoot, shoot, and then run away keep itself from being killed and the goss ammo I think we, we've been looking for this for the longest time mag shot ammo figures <sighs> nope taking this alright we got two of the archer pieces that's nice cascatel part that's actually great crusader part we can probably get rid of one kingfisher part one seth part there's the warhawk we got the extra part which is nice so we can choose between them Zephyr, AMS Flare, 
Five salvos, one ton. I'm just going to drop that. ATM3 will hang on to for now. Medium pulse laser will probably just sell that. Active Pro will keep. Artemis, let's hang. We, we've got one. Are we going to use more than one though? I don't know. Let's hang on to it for now. Regular heat sinks can go. We got a lousy roll. Holy crap, did we get a lousy roll? Chem ammo. <sighs> really? We got a half decent roll up top, and then for the stuff at the bottom, it was kind of garbage. All right, well, well, that was a little longer than expected, but uh, we did okay on that. Let's have a look at the mech bay here. I'm not going to bring that 85 tonner forward for a little while yet. We're going to keep maxing with what we what we have. Plus, we need sea bills to do it, to do it right. So we got our two trebs down here. I'm probably going to pull these guys out of service uh, because we do have a couple of other things I want to bring forward here. Going to storage real quick. Uh, not necessarily the Warhawk. Wait a minute. Can we... We have the Orion we want to bring forward still. I could put together a Babcatha? We already have one part. Well, that's interesting as hell. So that's a possibility. We got a bunch of summoners we can do. Like we can build a whole lance of summoners almost. We still got the shootist, which I probably that and the crossfire. I'll probably bring them forward, see what they're like, and then probably trash them. But we got a bunch of stuff here where I'm just going to sell. Corsair, Crusader part, um, the Agarmech part. Probably just get rid of a lot of the stuff that we're not going to use. Do we get any vehicles down here? We got, I know we have Cascatel parts. There's the Seth. Yeah, no, we don't have enough. Thought we may have had a couple in storage, but we didn't. All right, no big deal. We're down to like, I'm glad we didn't lose the, uh, we got a Zephyr down here. No, we don't, Never mind. take that back. Don't have anything vehicle wise. We got the Hunchback 2C I gotta bring forward still. Stormcrow for parts. Yeah, so I mean, we've got a bunch of stuff. But like I said, our uh, vehicle bay is looking pretty, pretty uh, bleak here. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. All right, but I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.